Hello, this is John Braun with Hitman Advertising, and I am about to show you how to do a mail merge from Microsoft Excel into Microsoft Publisher. Now, I'm going to do it in Publisher for a couple of reasons. One, mainly because I like Publisher better for newsletters. It handles pictures a lot better, and you can edit it a lot more easily than you can in Microsoft Word. But two, it's pretty much the same thing as Microsoft Word, and if you learn how to do it in Publisher, you'll kind of get the gist of it and see how to do it in Microsoft Word as well. So the first thing we do is start with an Excel file. Just like this, this is a just a sample, and you get this file from QuickBooks, which I will make on another video that you'll see later if you don't know how to do that, or you get it from any other database management program. Now the important thing is to remember is you've got a header row one here you can use to call a header later and usually this populates automatically by itself but it's got the company the contact the street and all the information that you categorize it later on in the mail merge and you'll see how that works in a minute the other important part is to save it as a comma delimited file it just seems to work better for me whenever I've done it that way to be able to do a comma delimited file it's called a dot csv file and uh, it works better for a mail merge. So how to do that is you get your mailing list populated from your database program and then you go file save as and when you save as you save as comma delimited you can choose that by coming down here and just choose comma delimited and you save it and this already existed but I'll save this again and there you go Okay, now here we are in Microsoft Publisher. Now you want to come into Publisher after you've got your Excel file already set to go. In other words, the database is correct, all the addresses are correct, and all the information is there, and you've saved it as a comma delimited or .csv file. So here we have a newsletter that's an 8.5 by 11. This is the back side or, or front side, whichever way you want to look at it. Uh, but this is the newsletter that's trifolded and as a self-mailer. In other words, the address of return address and to address and stamp is actually on the envelope. So here we have a bulk mail permit and we have the return address already here with my logo and this area is where we're going to create the address for the people for on the mailing list. Okay, so what we're going to do in 2007 is click on tools. Now if this is a previous version of Publisher you're going to click on mail merge which is usually over here in this area and there's a couple other differences too, very minor, that I'll tell you about as we go along. But basically, you want to click on Tools and click on Mailing and Catalogs. Now we're going to find Mail Merge. And this area over here is going to come up. So what you want to do is use an existing list. And make sure that in the other previous versions, you're not just looking for any list, you're looking for an Excel list. So you're going to want to make sure you're finding an Excel list or go on All Files to look for All Files for your list. Otherwise, your particular Excel file won't show up. So you're going to use an existing list and create or connect to a recipient list. And I'm going to look for the file that I actually saved. Now over here I've got all data sources on. If By default I think a lot of the times it goes to looking for just a publisher file or an Outlook file. But you don't want to look for that because we saved it as an Excel file. So over here is our Excel file. And it comes up. And remember how we saved it under comma delimited? So we don't want to use tab to separate the addresses. We want to use comma because it's a common delimited file. And we want to use our first row of data contains column header headers, just like we had talked about earlier. You want to make sure that's clicked so it understands that that first row is for the header and for what it's going to call everything inside that Excel file. So we click on OK. Now another thing that goes on here too in previous versions that Publisher 2007 kind of automatically recognizes is a lot of the times you'd have to type in sheet 1. It'll ask which sheet that you want to use. So you want to use the sheet that's in front, which is sheet 1. So you just type in sheet and then the number 1 with no spaces in between and then automatically it'll come up. 2007 it won't do that to you. So now we have everything actually merged but we have to put what we're merging it and what we're calling it. These are what our headers were called. So now this is already here. Now we want to put what all the headers are going to be over here in this area. Now 2007 automatically creates a text box. The previous versions don't, but it's not that big of a deal. Just create a text box for it to put it in. So we want the company name. If there is one, we'll put it here. And then on the next line, we're going to put the contact, the person's name, then the street, and then the street two. If there's a apartment number or condo, we want to put the state, and we want to put a comma and a space, and we want to put the zip or um, the city, then the state, and we want to put two spaces, then we want to put the zip, just like you'd have a regular address. Now, 
what we want to do, if we want to make this larger, we just highlight it, and we want to make it 14. Now, everybody's that prints will be in 14-point font. We can even change the style of the font. If we want to make it um, anything else, we can make it any other font or color. We can change that just right here now. So this is all set to go. Now we're ready to actually preview our merge. So all we have to do in Publisher 2007 is come over here. In the previous versions, we'd have to do a mailing mail preview, which I believe it's just called mailing list preview or something with the word preview in it. So over here we just click, and this shows everything actually here as it's going to print page by page what's going to be on all the different pages. So that way you can double check that they're all going to be there. Now I notice here too there's a space here because there's a missing field. There's a space up here. When we print, we can fix that to where that missing field isn't there. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. So here's what we do. We have everything already set, and the mailing list is actually merged. So we go under File. And we go under Print Merge. And we can either print all entries or specific entries. If we want to print entry 1 through 100 or however many you've got in your, in your mailing list. This button here in 2007 usually is automatically clicked, which says do not print lines that contain only empty fields. In previous versions, you have to make sure that this is clicked. Otherwise, it will print just like this on your page. But if you have this button clicked, or don't print empty lines, then automatically that'll just fill in the space and you won't have that problem. So all you have to do here is click print and your mailing list will be ready to go and you'll have a newsletter done that's actually a self mailer with your permit on it if you have a bulk mail permit or if not you can always put a stamp on it later. You don't have to put labels on it, you're just set to go. You've got it printed completely from Microsoft Publisher and it's easy. So mail mailing mail newsletters and postcards to your clients a lot. Thanks.